noticed lately that your car's headlights don't seem to be as bright as they once were? Well, it's not your imagination. Did you know that a car headlights actually dim over time? And it can make it pretty hard to see at night. We're talking now about what you can do to make sure that you're seeing the road as well as you should. And joining us is Dave Pershing from General Electric to shed some light on the situation. Hi, Dave. Hi, Wendy. So I didn't even know we're supposed to change our car headlights. You should. Car headlights will dim gradually over time and you won't even notice it, but you're not seeing as well as you should be. Kind of like my eyesight. <laughs> yes, and it's very important for people who uh, don't have the night vision they once did, or more importantly, for young drivers who are inexperienced at uh, reacting to situations on the road. Well, I'm one of those categories. We won't say which one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so um, how often are we supposed to change our headlights? Well, we recommend you do it regularly. I like to do mine about every four years. Uh, that's when your headlights are starting to dim, and uh, it's a very simple and effective process to give you more light on the road. Now, I'm a paranoid, scaredy-cat mom, so I drive new cars, but what's the average age of a car in America? Average car in America today is about nine years old. Nine years old? Yes. So even if you're buying a car that's new to you, you can't necessarily count on the fact that the headlight's been changed at any point in its that's life. That's exactly right. So if you're getting a car that's used, it's a good idea. One of the first things you could do other than just changing your wipers or other things or putting a uh, air freshener in there maybe change your headlights as well. It's a good way to remember it. Okay, changing your headlights. But now you want to tell us that changing it to something specific is Absolutely. important. Absolutely. Uh, with GE Nighthawk headlights, uh, these are 30% brighter than our standard GE 30%? headlights. 30%? Yes. But are they, I mean, <laughs> crazy question, are they legal? Do they blind oncoming drivers? No, it's not going to do that. Uh, we have to follow specific Department of Transportation regulations, and these fit within all those guidelines, so they're not going to blind any oncoming traffic. They're just helping the driver of the vehicle to see 30% further down the road to avoid some potentially dangerous situations. Okay, so it's GE Nighthawk. Now, how do I know if they fit my particular car? Well, what you can do is you can go to our website at gelighting.com. Gelighting.com, got right. it. Right. And you can do a product search on Nighthawk, Nighthawk, and it will bring up a page where you just fill in the boxes of the year of your vehicle, the make and the model, and it'll give you an entire list of all the Nighthawk lights that will fit your car. Okay, and then where do I go to buy it? Well, you can find them at mass merchandisers around the country. You can go online to an Amazon.com, or you can, if you don't want to do it yourself, you can ask your mechanic to go ahead and put in GE Nighthawk headlights for you. I don't want to do it myself. Do you think there's a chance I would be able to install headlights in my car? For sure. It's as easy as screwing in a light bulb. Are you serious? Yes. I've never touched anything on my car. You could do it, and I bet you could do it probably in, in a couple minutes. In a couple minutes? Yes. So it's as easy as screwing in a light bulb. Okay, GE Nighthawk headlights. 30% brighter, great insurance for our family to keep us all safe on the road. Yes. Thanks, Dave, for being here. Thank you. The best in health, home, technology, and career options. You're watching The Balancing Act. We'll be right back.